it's always me and never them. Hey. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot is all you get, so you gotta own it. One shot. You only get one shot. One shot. Today, from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas, it's Week 10 of the NFL on EA Sports. Cincinnati Bengals. On a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas, the roof is open and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Today we hit week 10 and we... Try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure right. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll be brought down just shy of 40. The numbers for Cooks in that game last week. Unfortunately, his effort not enough to help put him over the hump in that defeat. And let's face it, this is a guy who absolutely hates to lose. When we talked with him, he wasn't talking about the plays he made, was he? No. He talked the plays he didn't make. That's absolutely the mark of a true pro. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. The Texans at 5-4 and four now on the year. And Charles, they were losers last time. Uh, what do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but... The attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. Again, he'll drop to throw. Open man is Mechie, and he's got him. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 26. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And his throw is incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. Right side completes to Mechie. He's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Byron Pringle, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Texans are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they scrambled outside of the... down he'll drop to throw it and that's going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down they're going to look to throw his throw incomplete well they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown but incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And that's complete to Cooks. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 21 yards there on third down. On 
first down, he'll drop to throw. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. They'll drop to throw. Rolling to his left. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans have taken the lead. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled, and wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. throw steps away to his left caught left side by Mechie and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield great way to start the drive 20 big ones in a first down now back to throw he gets it to Cooks and he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down. I'm going to be a gain of 21 yards. Back to throw. On the move to his left. This will be complete to Mechie. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Being chased out left, and he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. It's their quarterback with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. to throw now on first down flushed out right throwing right and that's complete and he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line a good pick up there 26 yards the big play to start him out has him at the 45 already he'll look to throw dancing to his left oh he's got a man wide open complete and he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. And that'll be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. 
Wide open receiver complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 19. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is career catch 699. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half, and now seven on the game. That reception, it brings him up to the 700 plateau. He's at 700 career NFL catches now. And that club in baseball, a rather exclusive club, and one we talk about all the time, in football, puts you in the top 50 all-time range. Not so bad either. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 21 yards. That's going to be caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Over to Hooper on the sideline. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Out to his left. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Bengals grab it. Throwing here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him. And I don't think it's a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Forced out to his left. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. 
partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They'll look to throw here. Buying time to his left. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. Third down, he'll drop to throw. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And that's a killer because you think you've got it absolutely covered, and then he hot puts it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third, and then the tables turn. Oh, no, he lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So now our referee looking at the sideline saying, are you sure? But yes, this defense has accepted the penalty. So that means they will not take possession on the fumble recovery. Well, not sure why in the world you do that, but that is apparently the decision. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Once more, it's Pierce. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Damian Pierce with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Texans look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. <laughs> They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, you know me, partner, I never tell him to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you gotta go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. First down, they go right back to Pierce. Oh, what a move. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 155 remaining. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On second down, here's Pierce. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. 
And they'll indeed take a knee. Pierce gets this one running right. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted after the delay they're backed up even further for third and long so he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up and he's going to want to keep that game ball he was sensational listen anytime you take a knee to end a game that means you've just got a heck of a show partner this was a close game for a long time close at half close down the stretch home team finds a way to get it done a narrow victory yeah they finished with a flourish didn't they because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there and the outcome is in doubt for much of this game every snap seemingly more important than the previous one great effort from the guys visiting but in the end how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win so for Houston, it's an important win in terms of staying in the postseason race as they move to 6-4. and four. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, they'll lose an important one.